Hello, my name is Thomas Lundblad, and I live in Uppsala in Sweden. I want to describe my personal urgent emergency situation. My situation now is the same as for a man who has a house worth 30,000 crowns and it suddenly gets destroyed. I have been living for 18 months in a motorhome, an old motorhome from 1986, a Peugeot G5. But now the engine has collapsed. So I'm in a really urgent emergency situation because I have no other home and I have no friends and or relatives to stay with. And um, what happened is this. I bought this motor home for 35,000 crowns in December 2019. And after a few days, I, I, I uh, was driving on a road near here. And the engine suddenly stopped. And I moved the, the motor home into a nearby parking place. And it has been, uh, been there since then, for 18 months. In October last year, I tried to start the engine. It was difficult, but finally I succeeded. And I ran the engine for 40 minutes, but it suddenly stopped. And, and I went out to check the spark plugs. And I found that the spark plugs cables had melted. And I also found that a uh, plastic drain plug in the bottom of the cooler had fallen down to the ground and all the water in the cooler had run out. So the engine got overheated. And uh, first I thought that I could mend this, but um, in April this year, I became a member of a motorhome forum on internet. The name is husbilsklubben.se. And I discussed this problem with the engine and there I, and I talked with several person who was very experienced about such engines. And uh, they came to the conclusion that uh, it, was, it was not possible to mend this engine. And the only solution uh, was to change engine. And uh, I investigated uh, this uh, uh, on the, on the second-hand market. And I found that the, 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 uh, a second-hand refurbished engine has the price 50,000 Swedish crowns. And it's also necessary to have a garage, and I don't have that. And I am not uh, quite satisfied with, with this model either, because it has only one door in the middle. It's an integrated motorhome. Um, and uh, <clears throat> so now I want uh, to replace this motorhome uh, because uh, I can't stay any longer here on this parking place. Um, because um, I have been paying the fees here all the time. But the, the owner of the parking place don't want me to stay here. So I have a very short time to left here. And that's mean... Uh, my situa situation is that uh, this motorhome is not possible to use as a home. And I have no other homes and I have no relatives or friends to stay with. So my problem now is uh, that I need to have enough money to buy an, uh, another motorhome which can replace this one. And I have to 
sell this one for a low amount of money, a cheap amount of money, as a spare card, because it's not possible to move it or start it now. Or I can uh, uh, take it to a care scrap, but it costs at least uh, 2,000 crowns. Um, and I have uh, personal belongings in uh, this motorhome, uh, which I want to rescue. And I want to prohibit uh, that uh, I have to start with living in a tent, because I have tried that before a short time, and I know it's a much uh, worse situation. It can be hard, much harder to get uh, a home if, if, if one has began in a tent. Uh, and um, my only security with, in, in the question about housing and a home is a motor home. Because the authorities in this city, they, um, they ha have a certain amount of apartments to help people who are without a home. But they prefer to give uh, those apartments uh, to certain people, families and refugees and, um, and certain categories. Uh, and uh, it, it seems as it is more difficult for a person who, has, uh, who is uh, 40 years or older also to, to compete uh, between, because there are um, some people who get an apartment and some people don't. And I have sp spoken with um, several people who is in the same situation, and uh, they know that it, it, they, they don't get an, an apartment from the authorities, even if they are without a home. And I tried once uh, for, uh, it is uh, something like 10 years ago I tried, and I, and I didn't get one then. Uh, maybe there is a chance now that uh, they have changed their mind and, and I can get another, get uh, an apartment. But uh, I would say I can't trust on that at all. Probably they will say no, because um, uh, so, so that means I, my only security in the question uh, housing is, uh, is um, a motorhome. Uh, so my, my plan is uh, to buy a motorhome from 87 to 92 because they are tax-free and the price is um, between 35,000 Swedish crowns and 50,000 Swedish crowns. Uh, I can mention also that uh, the people on the motorhome forum uh, a Norman there, a man from Nor Norway, he um, he thought that this plastic drain plug was cracked when I bought it, and uh, when I when I ran the engine, it fell down. So I think it uh, can be so. So uh, that that means that when I bought this for thirty-five thousand crowns, these problems already existed. Uh, yes. Um, I can uh, mention a little bit about my my background, and um, I uh, I grew up in a little village between Sundsvall and Timrå. And uh, after school, I uh, worked in a metal industry. But I wanted to do something else, and I started to study economics. And I proceeded in Uppsala, and I finished the studies there, and after graduation I worked for a few years uh, with auditing in public administration. But I got on sick leave because of panic anxiety, and it was for a long time I was on sick leave. And during that time, something very special happened to me, because I became a born-again Christian. I became uh, saved. And even if I, I wasn't a, a believer on, on God or the or Bible or Jesus Christ before, 
But I thought uh, there was maybe something more than humans, maybe life on other planets. Anyway, I, uh, for a couple of months, I visited, visited a little um, Christian home church. And once I agreed with uh, three people there who was born again Christians, say the Christians, that they should pray uh, for me to Jesus Christ. And God the Father. And um, we, we was in a living room a Sunday. And I was silent and they prayed for 15 minutes. And when they finished, I, I became tired and uh, I slept for 15 minutes. But when I awoke, uh, I was very, very aware and very overwhelmed about... Uh, that I, I realized that uh, Jesus Christ in the New Testament is alive and it's a true religion. I, I understand that the Bible, the God the Father and the Son, Jesus Christ, uh, is a true story in the New Testament in the Bible. And the Bible is uh, from God. Uh, it was like a uh, 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 discovery in science. I was very happy about that. Uh, I was overwhelmed all the times and, and it followed me I, each day for several years. I was very happy about this. It was, it was very important, a very precious gift I received from, from God, from Jesus Christ. A very overwhelming and strong feeling. It, it was every minute on the day, several years. And I became better uh, from the panic anxiety. And um, for some years, but uh, after some years, I became worse again. And um, I got an apartment uh, for 13 years. But I didn't get back to the labor market. Instead, I got um, early retired. Um, during the time in, in the apartment, I, my prayer life was not as good as it has, had been before. I prayed in tanks before something like three years, but when I got this apartment, I, I, my prayer life um, was not good. I didn't pray almost not at all in, in the praying language in tanks. And I think that was the reason that I came in, into problems. There occurred problems in the house, and uh, I, uh, I made an and a report to a legal entity for tenants matters against the, the landlord. But um, this issue didn't become solved. So for some years it proceeded. And finally, the landlord wanted to evict me. And I became evicted uh, and um, I was not a perfect tenant, but I was not so bad. And I can say, uh, as a Christian, I can say honestly that what happens was that they created false disturbances. A few days before it should be, be a decision about this uh, issue in the legal entity, they started to make hammering in an in a apartment next to me in the middle of the night. And they called to people who work with the disturbances, uh, to check up the disturbances. And they came to my door and rang on my doorbell and, and said, uh, we have heard that uh, from people who have called us that you are, you are banging in your, in your apartment. But I said to them, absolutely not. But they insisted and they took a paper and, and wrote my name and, and uh, reported me and, and, that, and, that, and uh, insisted that I had done it. But I can assure you, this was a fake disturbance. They wanted to, to get this eviction through the legal entity. And they was in need of doing something because I, I haven't done such disturbances which, uh, which was needed to get it through the legal entity. So uh, that was happened to me 
But I forgive each one who was involved in this. I hope they are coming to heaven and uh, also can be a part of the rapture, to be a part of the bride of Christ when it happens. And after that, I, um, I lived in second-hand apartments and rooms for seven years. But then it became difficult uh, to get uh, such uh, housing because of uh, students and and uh, yeah, there was a competition between uh, groups. But uh, so I started to live in motorhomes and I bought a Ford Transit uh, sheep motorhome for 15,000 crowns. It was the first one and after that I bought the LT, Volkswagen LT uh, van, uh, also a motorhome also uh, for 15,000 crowns. And this one I have now is, is, uh, is was the price 35,000 crowns. But what happens to me with this motorhome, it is useless now and I can't get money from to sell it either. Just maybe a thousand crowns or something like that. So what happens to me, I lost everything I owned in my security because my, this was my only home and I am not a rich man. Uh, so what happens to me through this accident, it was very bad, a shock for me really. Uh, and I am, um, I am uh, receiving money each, each month uh, as a pe pension because I'm a pensioner. But it's not so much money and uh, it takes time to save money enough to buy another motorhome so who can re re replace this one. And now I, I am under pressure from the owner of the parking place. So I have to solve these problems. And it's, uh, so I'm in a very, very urgent emergency situation now. So I want to buy another motorhome which can replace this one. And that's why I'm doing this fundraiser. And I'm very grateful for help I can get. Um, Yes, I can also show how it looks, this motorhome. I will go out. Yes, here is the motorhome. It looks good, but it's old. It is from 1986. It's an uh, Peugeot G5 petrol. It's an integrated motorhome because uh, and there is only one door in the middle there. And uh, it's uh, elegant and uh, many f uh, windows, uh, but it's not worth uh, much now. Maybe just only a thousand crowns because the engine has collapsed, unfortunately. But I am very grateful that it, it has worked as a home for 18 months, uh, during two winters. <laughs> so, uh, my situation is that I, I rely uh, on uh, a motorhome and not on the authorities because they uh, they have failed before and they, uh, th there is no security uh, for a certain person uh, a cert for certain groups of, of the population uh, to get uh, uh, apartment from the, the authorities so uh, I have to rescue my situation so this is how it looks uh, this motor home. I will go and, and uh, show the registration, registration uh, number plate. Yes. Here is the station plate. It is GDX014. G